Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's Steve. About to react to this impressive vid. Uh, this is Nikki's husband gets confined after feuding with Cardi's husband offset. Not confined, child. Is, is this man, uh, is he in violation of his probation? Because isn't he in, like, some legal drama? <laughs> so, are they now making him uh, stay in the house? Is he on house arrest? Is this that what this is? That's embarrassing. Uh, and then another portion of this vid has to do with Jeannie Mae wanting back Jeezy. I'm going to speed that up a lot because, child, I don't want to hear about this unless something else crazy comes out. So we're going to speed through that portion. We're going to get into the tea with uh, with Mr. Uh, Minaj, child. Let's watch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. Now, I know you all are tired about hearing about yes. this whole divorce between Jeannie Mai and Jeezy, but finally we're starting to hear more from Jeannie's side. Now, a source close to Jeannie told Fake Six that Jeannie is pretty devastated that Jeezy filed for divorce from her, and she actually wants to save her marriage. The source said the truth is Jeannie wants her marriage to work and wants her family to be one solid unit. She is devastated that Jeezy filed for divorce. Jeannie deeply loves Jeezy and she wants to work things out. She did not get married to get divorced. This was not a part of the plan. This is not how she ever well, obviously, nobody gets to married now. to get divorced. Even though Jeezy has filed, Jeannie is holding out hope that she would be willing to sit down and work things out. She is hoping for a resolution and wants to remain as a united family unit. So we're hearing that Jeannie is pretty broken up about this and it is possible that she was blindsided because over a week ago she was promoting Jeezy's book and in the comment section Jeezy put a heart emoji acting like things were all good between them but the whole time he was plotting on leaving Jeannie's <laughs> So I think the way Jeezy went about this whole situation was pretty brash and pretty harsh. And like I said in my previous video, Jeezy is kind of selfish. He will walk away from a relationship if it's too inconvenient for him. And yeah, he has walked away from all of the mothers yeah. of his children. So the fact yeah, that he's going into Jeannie should be no surprise, honestly. And I'm sure he Wrap had his up. reasons for walking away. But if the situation can be worked out, I do hope they try to work it out. Wrap Jeannie up, is contesting the divorce. So some people thought that she was contesting it because she wanted to change the terms of the prenup. But it is possible that she's really just trying to save her marriage. And I understand why she would try to fight for it, even though it's unfortunate that she has to we be close to the end of the Because if he doesn't want you, he doesn't want you. But at the same time, exactly. they do have a young child. So I can understand why she would want her family to stay together. And also, I don't think she wants to deal with the embarrassment of having another failed marriage. So I get why she wants to fight for it. And hopefully things work out. Hopefully they can reconcile because honestly, I don't want to see a family be broken. I'm tired about hearing about these divorces and separation. It's just, it's just getting on my nerves. Now moving on, I want to talk about Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, because recently he did get into some serious trouble yeah, after so he cute. got into an online beef with Cardi B's husband, Offset. Now just to give a backstory, during the VMAs, Nicki's husband, Kenneth, and his friend, or one of his goons, so to speak, were backstage and they were supporting Nicki bit. and shouting out their borough queens. And they were just talking their talk, and Kenny was like, I'm waiting for one of y'all to act stupid. <laughs> and Cardi thought that this was a message to her for some reason. I don't know exactly why she would think that, because honestly, I didn't get that impression. I just assumed that these were just some New York dudes talking their talk. Nicki actually brought them along, and if something were to happen to Nicki, of course, they would step. But for the most part, they were there to just enjoy the show. I don't think they were there to start any trouble, for real. But Cardi subbed them for some reason, and she said, I ain't even flinch. So I guess that was her way of saying, I ain't scared of y'all. Now, another one of Kenny's alleged... Girl, he, she was saying that, and I already reacted to the video, but she, ha, she was saying that because they were adding her directly. Associates hopped on social... Or maybe she said that first, and then they added her I don't media, know, and he tagged cardi and i thought this was the dumbest thing he could have done because he did add fuel to the fire but he said cardi b we ain't your average queen's ends big dog stuff only sturdy sturdy talking about you ain't flinch you already exposed your hands sound like mfs is nervous now i think the guy who goes by the name sturdy was hanging out with kenny at the vmas i don't know his exact name but i'm just gonna call him that for the sake of this video offset was getting wind of what was going on and he decided to address sturdy in his dms and he said where are you located you ain't old as heck in female business with no money for war. Don't post me either since you gangster, right? You live in Charlotte, too. And the guy said, I'm outside heavy. Ain't hiding from near dude, especially no rap dude. And Offset said, you in Charlotte, right? You ends P, posting females like that's tough. And he said, I'm outside, gangster. Shut the F up, dude. You ain't even get no get back for your ends killing your people. Try me if you want, P. And Offset Ooh. said, you're a grown 40-year-old man talking about a woman. You're P. And the guy said, yeah, that, yeah. That was such a low comment. That's so rude. Yeah. And Offset said, you guys too old and don't be outside. And also, you can think what you think, but you broke. It ain't far from me catching already. I'm not going to say else to you online. And the guy said, I ain't hiding, my dude. And he said, get stepped on. So Who they kept going this? back and forth. I'm not going to read all of the DMs, but 
the exchange was just petty. It really was because nobody was going to do anything. <laughs> Are you in the wasn't going to do anything because he so fled the scene soon after the show to spend 24 hours with Kai Sinet. He was talking all that big talk in the years, hours? but I don't it know was that. all up front. Offset honestly has too much spent to spend 24 Kai hours with Kai. Beef, and I think he should have left the situation alone. I understand that he wanted to defend his wife, and that's admirable. But I want to. I want to react to some of that. I'm gonna look that up. Give me some videos, y'all. To watch. And Kenny's associate wasn't gonna do anything either I'm because he bitch. couldn't catch him. Hi. And even if he was able to Offset. catch him, Offset has too much security to even be touched. Highlight. So the whole thing was really dumb. And Nikki's husband, Kenny. Got himself tied up in this foolishness. He didn't even video. have a beef with Offset. It was his friend who was going back and forth with Offset in the DM. But Kenny took the bait and he involved himself into something that had nothing to do with him. So he was out there on the corner of the streets waiting for Offset. Meanwhile, Offset was too busy busting a move with Kai. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Is he on house arrest or not? Because you, you said confined. That sounds like you confined to the house. What's she saying? Confined like he in jail. I don't think he in jail. I thought I was talking about that. We saw this already. Are you in jail or in the house? So this is what got Kenneth Petty in trouble. And this wasn't even his beef, by the way. But either way, he got in trouble because this video went viral after his friend posted it. And his probation officer got wind of it, and now he has to spend 120 days on house arrest. Oh, Kenneth yes, Petty has yes. enough issues with the law. He has a long rap sheet, days? and he's also on the offenders list. So anything he does oh, will be bored in the house. Bored in the house, and I'm in the house. Bored. I know you're fucking lying. Still, Kenneth Petty should have known better than to be baited into an internet beef with Offset. He should have known better. He was caught in 4K doing this, and he has nobody to blame. Oh, this but is embarrassing. Himself. It's just embarrassing for Nikki. I still don't know why she married it's him in the first place. I know she knew him since she was a teenager. I think he was her boyfriend when she was in high school. So they do have a history together, and now that they're married. Ugh, and like my high school too. boyfriend got. Ugh. Still, I, just wish she didn't I would fucking know. Because <laughs> I just feel like he kind of brings the brand down. And Nikki has some real forces that are working against her in the industry. People who don't like her will use the situation with her husband to bring her down. Nikki did end up going online and she had a lot of things to say. She said, can't call the cops every time you flop. Just saying. Oh. So she was definitely subbing Cardi B. A lot of people are speculating that Cardi was the one who snitched on Kenny. I honestly don't think she did. But if she did, it would be kind of crazy because Cardi really is the same surprised. person who sent her goons to beat up those two bartenders who were messing around with her cute. husband Offset. So she can't be acting like a damsel in distress when she herself is I would not be like surprised. I would not Which is why I don't believe she her. called the cops. I don't. But I somebody alerted the cops. Somebody definitely alerted the cops. And alerted that the authorities. Around that Nikki allegedly sends her goons to threaten people in the industry. Come on, and first time. it's a very negative narrative. And I don't know how Nikki is going to combat this. But she did try to deflect a little bit. And I saw somebody show. online say that um, because <laughs> she posted a picture showing her hair. Um, and people were like, oh, she got a perm in her hair. And they're like, no, she don't. That's conditioner or something like that. Or was I on the video I reacted to? Anyway, child. Um, but they were saying, that, oh, she ain't got no perm. This, this is clearly permed hair. If you don't know what you're talking about, just shut up. Because... Right. I permed my hair. <laughs> and this is exactly what it looks like. This this is relaxed hair to the T. When it's wet, that's what relaxed hair looks like. If you say otherwise, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So just stop talking. Just shut up. Okay, this is not natural hair. And There's nothing wrong with that. Because I, like I said, I perm, I perm my hair uh, during the pandemic. I was like, fuck this shit. Because <laughs> my hair was super thick. Anyway. Um, yes, so. It's a very negative I'm period, relaxing. and I don't know how Nikki is going to combat this, but she did try to deflect a little bit, and she put this woman on blast who was making false calls to the police and saying all types good. of crazy things and making up lies about Nikki's husband. This is the lady? He's possibly drunk, or he has a child in his arms, and she just keeps telling him to put the child down on him, like he's trying to leave with the kid, and she's just trying to talk him out of it. And he's trying to talk Nikki said two times. Girl, what the was fuck? By large guns. This person wanted and a family with a two-year-old to be shot at. Yet nothing she looks on any star. blog. This same person made a false claim to CPS. When you have snitches in high places of the music industry who don't want you to win, <sighs> but realize they can't stop you because God's anointed in my life is very real. Funny how this person hasn't been found, mentioned, arrested, nada. 
and she went on to promote her Queen Radio show. Now, I do think it's crazy that they haven't caught the culprit who made these false calls against Nikki's family because swatting is a serious crime. And when the police show up at your house, a lot of times they're trigger happy. So you don't know what could have happened to Nikki how and her family. Have, they could have really win. been eliminated, if you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. the situation as a whole is really foul. I mean, they were quick to arrest Kenneth Petty, but they still haven't caught the person who was making those false calls about Nikki's family. I don't know. I think that's a bit odd. Girl. But anyway, I do think Nikki brought this up to deflect from her husband's situation. And honestly, I think she just needs to stay focused on the music and ignore the outside shenanigans. She's doing well right now. She's winning. And it's clear that she's a formidable threat to Excuse some me. of her and competitors she got in the out industry. Next, no, right now, they're no, scrambling. And right she now, she now they want to take her down. And they know the best way to do it is by targeting her husband. So she has to try not to take the bait because they're really waiting for her to slip up. But anyway, tell us y'all think about this. Yes, burn. Listen, I would never go back. <laughs> I've seen the light. I will never go back. Listen, my hair was so difficult to deal with. Right now, I just uh, washed my hair. This is literally, it ain't blending the best right now with my extensions whatsoever. But this is like air dried hair. Like I have not flat ironed it or blow dried it or did anything to it. And it's, it's this straight and blended with my extensions. I would never ever go back and i don't care who feel what about relax people got their opinions do what the fuck you want to do with your hair and let other niggas do what they want with their goddamn hair all right <laughs> anyway that has nothing to do with anything <laughs> uh but yes ghetto ghetto hot mess the fact that you stuck in the house for 120 days you about to be in the house bored bored in the goddamn house because you want to hop on 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 live and and talk shit and threaten people how lame and you didn't even do nothing so you you violated your probation just running your mouth on Instagram. Like, what? That is so goofy and embarrassing. <laughs> we got to bring it back to embarrassing because what the fuck? You embarrassing yourself. You embarrassing Nikki. Like, I just, I cannot with him. This this, this has to stop. Uh, hopefully nothing else uh, occurs from this situation. Hopefully um, it doesn't get taken farther whatsoever as far as his beef with with offset and cardi i guess because all of this is stupid anyway y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what other videos you've been watching i'll see y'all the next one Bye.